Hey, this is David Miller with the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty, and I'm here to help you get real estate smart. All right, the new stats just came out today for Metro Orlando, and I wanted to share them with you. Now, I will tell you up front that the stats are compared to April of last year. Remember, uh, remember April of last year, everybody was hunkered down, showing drops 60%, and there wasn't really much going on in real estate. So when there's a stat that relates to that, I'll let you know. Anyways, we're always starting inventory. Is inventory still dropping? Yes, the answer is, it is still dropping. It's dropped another 200 homes. It's down to about 2,600 homes in all of Metro Orlando. That is the lowest it's been since they started to record that back in 1995. Now, let me put that in perspective for you. Back in 1995, Metro Orlando only had 1 million uh, people um, around in Metro Orlando. Today, there's over 1.8 million. So that 2,600 homes means a lot more now than it did before because there's so many more people. That means there's only about three weeks worth of property on the market, all right? Remember when it's below six months, it's considered a seller's market. Well, we're all the way down to three weeks, which means it is a extremely strong seller's market. Now, the only good news is that new listings are up about 6% versus last year. All right, so that's my asterisk right there. Compared to last year, nobody was listing homes, so that's not really a big deal. Now, I will tell you that um, the market is still driving the uh, rate of appreciation. It's up 12% versus the same time last year. Now, that's the ninth month in a row that we've had double digit rate of appreciation. So the rate of appreciation is scaling up quicker. Remember the average over time since 1970 is about four, about four to 4.5%. 4 so we're, we're appreciating very, very quickly. One of the main culprits is that interest rates. Actually, the average was below 3%. So it dropped um, just a little bit. Last time it was 3.07, now it's 2.98. So that continues to drive demand. People understand they can get so much more house now than they could before. What about the distressed properties there? We've been hearing about there's gonna be all these distressed sales. They only represent 1% of sold properties, all right? They're still very low. And you know my opinion, if you've been watching my other video blogs, we are only in a bubble caused by the low supply. The economics, the low supply, high demand, this, this is exactly where we are. So will that ever change? Yes, over time that will eventually change. I do not expect anything this year. Eventually the um, appreciation, I'm sorry, the um, inflation will start kicking in. As the government prints more and more and more money um, eventually it's gonna start overheating and they will have to adjust the um, interest rates. And that will eventually affect the long-term interest rates, which is what the loans are attached to. And that will start to affect demand. And as demand goes down, inventory starts scaling up, but it's not gonna be like 2006. If you go back to my other videos, I gave you some good reasons why. So anyways, that's what's going on in Metro Orlando. If there's anything we can do to help you out, please give us a call. Um, and we are hoping that you are real estate smart. Thanks.